Hello friends, in this video I would like to brief about the tribunal judgment with regard to non-submission of e-TDS statements within prescribed time as a result of which imposition of penalty by assessing officer happened which was confirmed by appellate commissioner. Now we look into de detail. The assessee Maharashtra Jeevan Pradikaran Works Division Parbani expected to deduct tax under the provisions of Chapter 17B of the Income Tax Act 1961 and also was required to prepare and deliver to Income Tax Authority a quarterly statement under Section 200 subsection 3 under Rule 31A of the Income Tax Rules. <laughs> Necessary TDS amount has been deducted and paid along with interest but there was delay in e-filing of statements. As there was delay in filing ETDS statements, a notice under section 272A subsection 2K read with section 274 of the Act was issued to the deductor on October 1, 2012. The assessing officer was of the opinion that there was delay in filing of statement ranging from 260 days to 564 days and the tax deductible relating to the statement in question is ranging from Rs. 8200 to Rs. 281096 respectively. On the above lines, the assessing officer held that the assessee has committed a default in not filing the ETDS statements within the specified time without any reasonable cause. As the default is evident, he proceeded to levy a penalty of Rs. 2,55,700 under Section 272A, Subsection 2K of the Act. In turn, the assessee submitted that the reasons for delay in electronic filing was due to frequent changes in the software, non-availability of PANs, that is permanent account numbers, and lack of knowledge about electronic filing. But they had deducted and paid TDS along with the interest. This was the submission made by the SSE for the notice issued against them. SSE also said there was no default in tax deduction and payment to government account and they did not derive any benefit from non-filing or late filing of ETDS statements. The Commissioner Income Tax Appeals, after going through all the records placed before him, also confirmed that that is otherwise upheld the action of the Joint Commission of Income Tax in levying penalty of rupees 2,55,700 under Section 272A, Subsection 2K of the Act. Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, Pune Branch, said that there may have been procedure lapse on the part of the SSC. However, due to such procedure lapse, no prejudice has been caused to the revenue. Further, the Quorum of the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, Pune Bench, held that since filing belated returns or statements, revenue had not suffered any loss because tax deducted was already deposited on time and there was only excusable breach to provisions contained in the Act for submitting return or statements of TDS. It also said that there were genuine reasons to the SSE in submitting the return belatedly and they have considered judicial precedents placed on record. In view of the above cited reasons, the tribunal answered the question in favour of the SSC and therefore decided that penalty was not to be levied. It said that it is setting aside the order of the learned CIT appeals and directed the assessing officer to delete penalty from the hands of the SSC. In the result, appeal of the SSC is allowed. Hope this video is useful to understand that penalty is not leviable in all circumstances and it varies from case to case basis. It has been held that in this case imposed penalty is not sustainable as the charge is non-submission of tedious statements is just a procedural lapse and excusable. I request you to like, share and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.